Hey there, welcome back to the channel. I'm Frank from UPDF. UPDF has undergone a major revamp this year with the launch of UPDF 2.0. This update brings a faster performance, a more refined and modern design, and a richer set of features that are more detailed and easier to use, delivering an overall smoother and better experience. And in this video, I'll walk you through everything UPDF 2.0 for Windows has to offer. By the end, you'll know exactly how to use all of the features with confidence. Don't have the latest version of UPDF on your computer yet? Just click the link in the description and download it for Windows. Let's get started. Before we explore all of the features in the latest version of UPDF for Windows, let's take a quick look at the updated home interface. Right from the start, you can easily view your recent PDF files at a glance. To access your favorites, simply click on the Start icon. Want to open a file? Just click Open File. Need to save your PDFs to the cloud? Use the Upload to Cloud button to store them securely in UPDF Cloud. By clicking the Tools icon, you'll find all of the most commonly used features in one place, including Read PDF, Create PDF, Edit PDF, Compare PDF, and Batch Process PDFs. To access the AI feature in UPDF, just click the AI icon. And if you want to manage your cloud documents, the Cloud tab lets you view and organize all the files stored in UPDF Cloud. Now that you have a clear overview of the home interface, let's dive into the features. Let's talk about the standout feature first. UPDF comes with a smart AI assistant that helps you chat with PDFs and AI. You can ask it questions, get summaries, translate text, and even explain complex content in simple words. Simply open your PDF in UPDF and click the AI icon at the top right corner. Or you can click on the AI icon in the home interface to upload a PDF. If the panel feels too small for chatting, you can easily drag it and resize it to make it more comfortable to use. Select the language you need and click the chat with PDF button and you'll enter a chat-like interface. Here you can ask any question about the PDF and the AI assistant will provide you with the answer. To chat with AI, click on the second icon here. You can ask anything, like what is UPDF? To translate the content copied from the opened PDF or any other place, you can click on the translate icon. Then paste the content, select the language, press send and you'll get the result. You can also translate the whole PDF keeping the layout by clicking on the PDF translation icon. Then you can click on the three dots if you need to translate another PDF, select the language, choose the page range and click on translate. You can also copy the content and paste them into UPDF AI to summarize and explain by clicking on the summary and explain icon. For those who want quick access to UPDF AI when reading, you can select the content. Here you can use the UPDF AI to summarize, translate and explain. Alright, now let's move to creating a PDF. You can either create it from scratch as a blank page or from your files like images, an ID card, Word docs, Excel sheets and more. On the home page, you can click on the tools and you'll see these options like blank, other for Word, Image, Excel, PowerPoint, and more. ID card and scanner. For example, if you want to start fresh, just click on blank. Next, choose the paper style, the paper size, the orientation, and the number of pages that you need. Then click apply. And that's it. Your brand new PDF is ready to go. PDF editing, the most commonly used feature of UPDF, you can edit and all of the different elements in your PDF, including text, images, and even links. Go to Tools after opening the PDF, then click Edit PDF and upload one PDF. It'll open up the editing toolbox. And in editing mode, you can click on the text you'd like to edit and add new text or remove whatever you'd like. You can click on the three dots in the pop-up window to set the properties panel. Similarly, you can edit images and links using these options. To add new text, images and links, just click the buttons above and you can add them in. To edit the watermark, click watermark in the tools and then use these options here to add, edit and remove watermarks. You can change the background of your PDF page. Just go to tools and click background. 
Then click Add Background and choose any given preset. You can also create your own by clicking the Create button and you're allowed to edit and remove existing backgrounds. Besides watermarks and backgrounds, you can add, edit and remove a header and footer to your PDF. Go to Tools, Header and Footer and select the options that you need. Now let's look at PDF conversion. This tool allows you to convert your PDF into Word, Excel, PowerPoint, images, text, HTML, and more. Go to Tools and find the Convert To section. Select one format or click on the More to find different formats that are available and it'll open up a new window. Here you click on the drop down button under the Convert To option and you select the format which you like to convert your PDF. Then select the page range and configure the settings. Click the Apply button and select the location where you'd like to save the file. With UPDF for Windows, you can turn scanned PDFs or images into editable, searchable text in just a few clicks. In Tools, click OCR and a new window will appear. Select from these given options, editable, editable PDF, text and pictures only, and searchable PDF only. Then select other settings including language and page range. Once selected, click convert and select the location where you'd like to save the converted PDF. Now you can open the PDF and make edits to it just like you would a regular PDF. Now let's talk about annotations. With UPDF on Windows, you can highlight, underline, or strike through text. You can also add comments, sticky notes, text boxes, and even draw shapes or lines. Let's see how. Choose the comment in the tools this time. You can select the tool that you want to use. Let's say you want to highlight a certain piece of text. We'll choose the highlight option and then select the text that we'd like to highlight. You can also change the color and opacity. Now, let's say you want to add sticky notes to your PDF. You'll select this sticky notes icon, select the color and click anywhere on the PDF where you'd like to put post the sticky note. Similarly, if you can add, you can add other annotations like shapes, attachments, stickers and more. This tool allows you to move pages around, rotate them, delete the ones you don't need, insert, extract, replace, split, add page order and change page size. Let's check out how we can do this. Click the Organize Pages button in the top left corner. You'll see a new window with all your PDF pages and you can simply click a page and drag and drop it and organize it this way. And if you'd like to, you can insert, extract, replace, shift, split and more using all of the options given above. If you want to split a single page, you can close the Organize Page features and go to Tools, then select Split from the list of features. Click on the Split Pages to choose the Split template or you can configure the relevant settings from the right side panel like Split Method and Reading Directions and then click on Apply to split the pages. To crop pages, Click on the Crop Pages button in the Tools and then select the Size Unit or drag to adjust the size. Then just click on Apply. Let's look at how we can create and edit PDF forms. UPDF for Windows also lets you create and edit PDF forms. You can add texts, fields, checkboxes, drop downs and buttons. Whatever your form needs, here's how. Go to Tools and click Prepare Form. You'll see multiple options at the top menu bar. Let's say you want to add a text field to your form. Select it and draw a box with your cursor where you'd like to add it. Similarly, if you can add other elements like a checkbox, drop down menu and more. UPDF for Windows comes with a batch process tool. It's very useful, especially when you're working with a lot of files. No need to open files one by one. It has many options like batch convert, batch merge, batch OCR, batch compress, batch create and more. The steps to use these tools are the same so let's take batch convert as an example. First open UPDF and on its home page click on the tools and you'll be able to find batch uh, PDFs. Select convert from the list. Click add files and select multiple PDFs that you'd like to convert at once. Choose the output format like Word, Excel, Image or any other. Select your options, hit apply and that's it. Let's check out another powerful feature of UPDF for Windows, which is Compare PDF. 
This tool helps you find differences between two PDFs side by side. It's very useful when you're reviewing edits or checking updated files. Open your PDF and right on the home page, click Tools and the Compare button. Now choose the two files you'd like to compare. UPDF will open them side by side and highlight the changes for you. Now let's talk about how to protect your PDFs with UPDF on Windows. You can lock your files with a password so no one can open them or change them without appropriate permissions. Here's how you do it. Open your PDF in UPDF, click the drop down icon with the save button and click protect using password. You'll see two options, open password and permission password. Set an open password if you want to stop others from opening the file. Set a permission password if you want to control editing, copying and printing. Once set, click the Save As button and besides the password protections, you'll be able to redact and protect your PDF. It can help you hide sensitive information. You can cover text, images, or entire pages with black boxes. Once you apply, the content is gone for good. Here's how you do it. Click Tools and then click Redact. Click the second icon on the top menu and select the text, image, or page you'd like to hide. You can also change the fill color and the mark appearance. You can redact a full page, search for redacting, or even sanitize the PDF. After selecting what you'd like to redact, click apply and it's done. Another useful feature of UPDF on Windows is the built-in share option. You can easily share your PDF file within the tool. Let's go take a look at how. Open the drop-down list right next to the save button Click the UPDF Share button and a pop-up will occur. Click Create Link and UPDF will upload your PDF to UPDF Cloud. After the file is uploaded, you'll see this window. Click Copy to copy a shareable link and you can paste and send it to anybody. Click the QR code icon and download it. You can send a scannable code. Or click the email icon to send it straight from UPDF. Just type the address that you'd like to send it to and hit Send. You can, also send, uh, can, you can also set password and expiration times. If you want to unshare the file, just click the Unshare File button. This tool lets you store your PDFs and access them from any device. Super handy if you're working between your computer, tablet, and phone. Here's how to upload your files to the UPDF Cloud. Click the Upload to Cloud button on the home interface. Select the file you'd like to upload and click open. Once your file is uploaded, open the cloud from the bottom button and you'll see all the uploaded files here. Click on the three dots right next to each file and you can open, download, rename, copy or delete the file and a lot more options. Besides homepage, you can also upload your PDF to UPDF Cloud if you've already opened the PDF file. Just open the drop down menu and click save to UPDF Cloud. This tool helps you lock everything into place, annotations, form fields, watermarks, and layers, so nothing can be edited or moved. It's perfect when you're sharing a final version or sending files for printing. To use it, open the drop-down menu next to the Save icon and click Save as Flatten. In the pop-up window, choose what you'd like to flatten, annotations, forms, or everything. Click Save as and it's done. Those are the main features of UPDF on Windows. You can try it out by downloading it through the link in the description. Well, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates. See you next time.